today I'm going to show you how you can clean a disk and delete everything on it using the clean all command. Begin with right clicking on your Windows icon and select command prompt admin. You can also search up command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. Now you will write in disk part. Now when disk part is launched, you will write in list disk. And now you can see we have two different disks here. Select the right disk that you will want to wipe. Make sure this is really the disk you want to wipe. I know of course that my system disk is the 2 terabyte SSD and uh, the disk I want to wipe is this 300 gigabit or th sorry 320 gigabytes uh, is the one. So I will write in select disk 1. Now that we have selected the correct disk we will write in clean all and select enter. Now the disk will be completely wiped and all partitions will be deleted on this disk. So just wait for this process to finish and then we can launch disk management. All right, and now you can see it is uh, successful and <laughs> I wrote a little random stuff here because I was a little bit anxious. And when you run the clean all command, it takes around one hour per 320 gigabytes. So it might take a while to actually clean your disk. But know that when you use this method of cleaning the entire disk with the command prompt like this, uh, it will overwrite the data on the disk. So if you have done this, you can safely sell, throw away, give away the hard drive without any issues. So when we are done in the command prompt, you'll just write exit, leaving this part and there we are, we can close it down. And of course, to actually use the disk, maybe you'll use it yourself or someone else will use it. You will need to go to disk management and you right click on the Windows icon and you just click disk management. All right, so here you can see uh, we get this little prompt, initialize disk. Um, and if you get this little prompt, you of course need to select something. Now, MBR is pretty ancient. GPT is the kind of new one and is uh, required for most new drives. But if you're going to use this on a really old uh, Windows system, you might change it to MBR. But generally, GPT is the way to go for basically everyone. So just select OK. Now the disk is uh, initialized and to start using this, you'll need to right click on it and select new simple volume. Here you get this nice little wizard. Uh, so we'll just click next and if this is a regular hard drive max this out if it's an SSD uh, Remove about 10% from this so you'll have 10% uh, unallocated space minimum or 20% and Your SSD will live longer, but for HDD use all the space click next You can assign a letter to the drive uh, You can select any letter you want don't do anything with this uh, information there, just go to the next one and uh, format this volume using NTFS, XFAT. You can use it on some other systems as well, like Mac, but NTFS is the regular normal thing that you want to have for uh, Windows drives. Now allocation unit size, if you're going to have only media files or something on this one, you can set it to the maximum, otherwise just keep it on default. Default is best for most people. And then you can of course name the volume something. I'm going to call this uh, Magazinet, because why not? So now you can do, you can select to not do a quick format, but you might as well do a quick format. If it would fail, try to uncheck it, but it usually doesn't fail like ever. So just do quick format and click next. And then just finish. And uh, congratulations, this is formatting and now it's all right. 
So uh, we can actually browse this drive now and use it normally. It's uh, completely fantastic. You successfully initialized the drive and you can now, I don't know, use it, give it away, whatever. The data that was on it is gone and um, it's clean from all partitions and all data. Everything basically, fantastic. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. And if it was, please leave a like and do comment if anything below the comments. Uh, if you have any questions or new videos you wanna see. In any case, do stay tuned, that means subscribe. And I'll see you in future videos. This is your host, Jim Odessen, signing out.